Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my hand-drawn iOS app. So uh, yeah, stick around for this uh, cool video. And uh, before I get started, I want to say a quick thanks to all of my new subscribers. We just hit 200 subs, so uh, yeah, stick around. I think uh, this is going to be, uh, be very fun. Uh, okay, so in my last video, I showed off some of my programming side projects and uh, how much I'm making on them. Uh, somebody asked me if I could show off the iOS app I briefly talked about. So that's what I'm doing in this video. Because what I didn't tell you in the last video is that this app is actually hand-drawn, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so this is the app. It's called uh, 100 Spørsmål, which is Norwegian for 100 questions. And what it is, is a drinking game app. Boom, I know, revolutionary. Anyways, uh, this is uh, an app where you have some games you can play. Let's say we want to play the classic game. We go onto this and we see that we just have a bunch of questions. And uh, how this works is that uh, the average Norwegian person loves these types of games. It's like uh, our drinking culture almost revolves around drinking games, which is kind of weird. I'm not a big fan of it myself, but you know what? <laughs> If there's a demand, why not uh, create an app for it? So, uh, yeah, th this is just a collection of, uh, of uh, different sets of games people can do. And people can also create their own games, which uh, is kind of fun. And <laughs> I feel like the elephant in the room here is the graphics. What the fuck is going on? I know. <laughs> Actually, the original version of this app was not hand-drawn. It had uh, more of a norm core design. And uh, I just thought it was uh, so boring before I released it. So I was like, you know what, let's uh, rewrite or let's redo the entire graphics of the app uh, right before the launch was my plan. So uh, what I did was I asked my uh, designer friend Anders, shout out to him. He has a YouTube channel as well. Check it out. And uh, yeah, I asked him if he had any ideas and we came up with a hand-drawn app design together. So after we pivoted to the hand-drawn design, I actually kind of like it now. If you uh, look at like how this like button works, pff, it's just so satisfying to click. And also the next buttons, previous buttons. But yeah, I think uh, this app turned out to be kind of interesting uh, and... Uh, yeah, I'm happy we did the, the graphics like we did, and uh, I'll now show you how the technical side of the app works, which is super exciting. Okay, so the stack of the app consists of React Native for the UI, and I'm using Tailwind for styling, and uh, to get Tailwind working in a React Native app, I'm using something called Native Wind, which is pretty nice. Then for the uh, database, I'm using the Firebase Firestore database. So I got no server running. It's just a Firebase project. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire tech stack. Now let's look at some code examples. So this is an example of how uh, a component may look. This is the hero component, the stuff at the top here. Uh, and you see it's only a few lines of code which is very satisfying I got I'm basically doing all of the positioning using Tailwind and then the components themselves are just images so this is the hero image we can check it out I got it open here <laughs> it's just a PNG that I cut out using Photoshop and uh, I'll be the first to admit this is not uh, perfectly done but you know what I think uh, I think it works. All buttons are made of three states. It's one active, one selected, and one uh, not active. So uh, this creates for some really interesting effects. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm super happy with how it all turned out, actually. We are currently looking at the Firestore database that the app uses. And as we can see here, this is where all of the questions and games are stored. So if I would want to create a new game, I can do this manually from here or from inside of the app. And all I need is to add a couple of fields. Let me do that really quick. So here I've added the fields author, description, emoji, ID, name, public, and a array of questions. So if I now open the app, we should see that this new pack exists. And boom, here we have the YouTube pack. 
created by YouTube. Hello, YouTube. And <laughs> okay, I don't have the full version of the app myself, so we can't play it, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, this works. I was actually hoping that more users would create their own packs. And as of right now, it's basically only this guy, Krister, that created his own pack, which actually was uh, pretty nicely done. He created 57 questions and has gotten a lot of upvotes, which is cool. But this app has been alive for over a year and with only one user made pack, I can uh, confidently say that, okay, maybe that's not the, the best feature of the app. So I'm actually planning on doing a complete rewrite of this app because I do think it has some potential. So if you are excited to see what I come up with, because spoiler alert, I have some pretty cool ideas, then you should uh, subscribe and stick around because I'll create some videos on uh, this subject in uh, the coming weeks. Now, before I end this video, I want to quickly show you the usage of the app. So right now the app is pretty much dead. As you can see, it only got 11 downloads last month and that's because uh, I'm doing no marketing on the app and the user base was never too big to begin with. But what's interesting is that people are still buying the app. So I'm still making some uh, bucks here and there on it. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to hear more about uh, some passive income I have going on, you should check out my last video here. And other than that, I uh, would say have a great rest of the week. Thanks guys. Bye. Sit <laughs> down.